Hey YouTube, it's Monroe. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today, in the spirit of this holiday, I'm gonna show you how I make corned beef and cabbage. There are so many different ways you can make this. I am choosing to use my crock pot and let's hope it fits everything. Um, you can also simmer it on a stove in a large pot. You can use an Instapot. So whatever whatever method you prefer. I'm also gonna show you how I make a horseradish, horseradish, horseradish sauce. I'm also going to show you how I make a horseradish cream sauce that I like to serve with my corned beef. It's also really, really yummy with steak, prime rib, things like that. So for the cream sauce, all you are going to need sour cream, Dijon mustard, horseradish prepared, and salt and pepper, which I have over by the stove. And everything that goes in the crock pot, what I'm going to use is, I have three carrots here. I am going to slice them. You can use a cup of baby carrots, peel, uh, whatever type of carrots you want. I have three carrots that I'm gonna just cut up. One small head of cabbage, some parsley, and onion. A lot of people will use those frozen pearl onions. Feel free to use those. I don't like them, so I'm not. Bay leaves and peppercorns, that's all you need. So I am going to get started. Okay, so I am going to get my brisket. I have about three pounds here. I'm gonna get my brisket and the peppercorns in the crock pot. In my crock pot, I already have my corned beef. It's about two and a half pounds of my corned beef brisket and a tablespoon of whole peppercorns. Next, I am going to cut up my carrots and chop them into about one inch size chunks. This part is totally optional. Um, I don't peel my carrots. I wash them and give them a good scrub and then I just put them in there. I'm not that picky, but feel free to peel your carrots, uh, scrub them, peel them, use the peeled baby carrots. That is all personal preference. These are super fat, so I'm going to cut it in half and that really fat side I'm going to cut lengthwise in half and then I'm going to do my one inch pieces. Can you guys see? Are you guys missing this? Okay, it's not like it makes a big difference but so once I chop I drop. like a hairstylist inch, if anybody's a hairstylist out there and knows what I mean. Drop them. Again, that fat part, I'm gonna do lengthwise and then chop. My crock pot is small. I have had it for probably, man, 15 years, maybe longer. And I, it, you know, it works, so I use it. I would love to have a bigger one, but I usually use my Dutch oven if I need something super big. Uh, for my onion, it's huge. I don't use a lot of onion, so I am going to cut it in half. Put this off to the side. I'm not gonna use that other half. Actually, I have so many recipes lined up for this week. I will use it in another recipe. So I leave this little piece on and I just cut it into wedges. So they're kind of big. I do the same thing for uh, when I'm using uh, pot roast. So my cabbage, I like to cut it in half. I'm gonna take this outer piece off, mainly because probably other people have touched it. Um, cut it in a fourth and then slice the core out on a diagonal. Typically I would put it in my crock pot like this, just like four wedges, but I'm going to do it in another slice just so I can get it to lay down better. And I might have to be a little creative here. And I might not be able to fit all of my cabbage in, which would make me so sad. 
The meat will shrink down for sure. I might have to tent that with tin foil. Okay, one wedge didn't make the cut. I'm gonna eyeball about a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley. Run my knife through it. Oh, and I'm gonna shove my two bay leaves down in there. You want to make sure you cover it with uh, some water, just enough to cover about two or three cups. Okay, so I'm going to get my lid on, get this going over high for about three and a half hours. Horseradish, cream sauce, yum, yum. All right, so this is how I make the cream sauce to go along with my corned beef and cabbage. Um, you will want a quarter of a cup of sour cream into a mixing bowl. A tablespoon of prepared horseradish. I have a quarter teaspoon here, so I'm gonna just do four. This is a mild, they had hot. I didn't go with hot, although mild is extremely warm. A quarter of a cup of Dijon mustard. Excuse me, a quarter of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Right in. A pinch of salt. A dash of pepper. So give it a good mix. Oh, this just makes me want prime rib. It's gonna be so good. There you have the cream sauce. As you can see back here, I have tented it with foil because it didn't fit. So I'm gonna let that go for about three and a half hours. As it, as it shrinks down, I can possibly, I can take off the tin foil and just replace the lid. Um, but I'm gonna clean up and I will see you back here soon. Let me just slice into this real quick. The vegetables are done. Nice and super soft. So tender. Super hot. So juicy. Okay, so for plating, I get a lot of these veggies. I make this pretty plate for the fiance. So it's me. I have here the cream I made earlier. I'm not gonna go too heavy with the cream for her. It's 
So here you have it, St. Patrick's Day, corned beef and cabbage. Um, I love this recipe, I love this meal. It's like a once a, once a year thing. Um, if you're looking for a fun cocktail to have with this dinner, I suggest you head over to my brother's channel, Doing Stuff Drinking. He makes an Irish coffee that looks so amazing. And if you wanna be in that spirit, um, check that out. I'll link it somewhere here. Look at that. Mm, I cannot wait. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little short video. Um, thought I'd jump on here and show you what I was making for the holiday. Please like, please subscribe. Please let me know what you'd like to see. And if you're interested in finding out what I'm making next, please join me in my kitchen.